Access Bank drags Iluyo Madis over ROCCG loan, city of David Parish. Really? Why should they drag them? Why should they drag them? Of course, some people will tell you that uh, who was the pastor when they took the loan to build the Trinity power of a, day, a city of David. Yes, it is the Iluyo Madis that were there. So... That was the reason why a lot of people said there was no way Iluyomadi would leave a, that parish. But unfortunately, to the shock of many, he just resigned and he left ROCCG. So who is going to be responsible for the payments? Who was, who was the signatory to the loan that was taken from the bank? And okay, that is why we are still waiting for KPMG, who is the audit firm, to um let us know what happens at the end of the day because now that they have a a new pastor in that parish they have instituted um audit to investigate the financial of course it's going to be financial um uh, activities of the church i don't think it is the, the people they want to investigate because as far as we know now there is no what is it called there is no any allegations concerning iluyo madi apart from the party that they, they they had a party which uh which is has led to what is happening now though ROCCG as a church has denied that that no that is not the reason why they transferred him they always only transferred him uh because that is the routine or the right thing to do in the system and that is how it has always been which of course is true but you and I know and no Nigeria no Nigerian will believe that story because nothing happens without nothing. Something led to that, but that is not even what we are talking about. So, the KPMG will tell us what and what. A lot of people have come out, a lot of people have come online and said many, many things. What did they know concerning the church? How it came to be? Who and who funded the financiers and all of those stories? Yes, we know about that. And Honestly speaking, there's no way, there's no how, no way the Iluyomadis will not be involved in one way or the other because they will still be called back. They cannot, they cannot just boot out. Or maybe they already knew what was going to happen. Because when the incident happened that they were to suspend them after having that a uh, lavish party, that was when they ought to have allowed them to leave or suspended them. But I think uh, they just used wisdom because the whole thing was just so hot. Everything was hot, hot, hot for that time. So maybe they had seen the handwriting on the wall and they have done their paperwork and left. Now, that is why they are, I'm sure that is the reason why this investigation or the audit is really coming up. Uh, you hear? So maybe they have done their own work. But like I said, or they have done their paperwork, like I said, there's no way they are not going to be called back because... Um, from what we heard that uh, we gave paid some of the loan and some of them are still remaining so who is going to be responsible for that there are still money to be paid to the bank and I hope uh, oh, mm -hmm. they no go take her uh, because that is what a uh, bank that's what they do <laughs> you go borrow money for bank you need to be strong and you need to be sure of yourself if not forget about it they could just collect some and that is what most of those banks from people's experience they just want to they will they will be praying that you should not even be able to pay so that they will just collect everything everything they will just collect them for your hand so some people say hey, they say they do do just so that you know go fee pay uh but i'm sure the rccg will not even allow this to happen in the first place they will not allow it to happen in the first place. They want to make sure that they pay the money. Or the money must be paid. Because if they can't afford to pay the money, hmm. and that one they call OT law, all the efforts be there. Hmm. Uh, this man that just left quietly, uh, I'm having some kind of feelings that all is not well. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That the man will just boot out like that. No quarrel, nothing, nothing. Even the apology that Nigerians are even expecting from them to apologize to the Wigwe's family for even holding that party. Nothing, no explanation whatsoever. See, today we didn't hear nothing from them. And some people are saying that hey, they are not even on social media. I say, really, they are not on social media again. 
Okay, oh, that one, he gets as he be. Of course, a lot of people have blamed the woman, they blame the man, uh, which, of course, we, we know that uh, that is not the right thing. What they did was not the right thing, thing to do. They also have come out. So, up to today, no word from them. And with this issue of a, a transfer or no suspension, they have not said anything. They never said anything, honestly speaking. So, that is why me, I'm kind of skeptical. Say, hey. You shall say, Kasala no go boss. Kasala no go boss. So, who they go come drag until after the K KPMG, the audit firm, until they do the, they, are, they come out with their final investigation and do the thing before we know the steps that will be taken. I will not know whether these guys, Uluyama days have done their uh, paperwork before leaving because their silence their silence is so loud it's so loud way way that you begin to feel that uh, something is fishy somewhere so guys i'll leave your comments down there and let us know what do you think um will the bank be able to drag in your money i think to a very large extent uh, but like i said if the audit firm at the end of the day, will tell us what is happening. We will not know whether they were the they were part of the signatory to the accounts or to the old loan they collected. If not, your guess is as good as mine. So, guys, I leave your comment down there below and let us have your take. Thank you.